Hello everyone just podcast TV is here please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified on new contents. Episode 407 Provocation Sam didn't know who was hiding in the dark and what they wanted. He was experienced but he didn't really become a demon. How could he know what the person hiding in the dark wanted to do? Maybe some small family got wind of the conflict between the Sykin family and the Marquez family and wanted to use this method to instigate them. Aren't you already preparing to form an alliance and start a war with the Marquez family? When Sam mentioned this, Holden felt very awkward. If that was really the case, he would have been fooled. Sam did not comment further on this matter. Of course, it might also be as you said. This matter was done by the Marquez family. It was previously because Zack had done something that didn't belong to his style. That was why you, who recognized him as your enemy, were sure that it was not him who did it, and thus let down his guard. If that was the case, you fell for it again. Holden Man was sweating even more. In these two completely opposite situations, his choice was not very good. Sam continued, There's another situation. A small family alliance that we don't even know about has been formed. They want to challenge us and divide us up so that they can replace us as a new big family. There's also a a fourth and fifth situation. There are many situations that we can't predict. So the best solution right now is to deal with all kinds of changes without changing. I just talked to that old Fox Quincy on the phone. Our two families are temporarily in an alliance this way no matter what happens we will be able to ensure that we have the ability to fight even if we are no match for him we can still maintain the existence of our family we are already in an undefeatable position sam was in the same holden man class and after zach hung up on angela's call he received a similar call from quincy however zach did not think that it was the man family who did it. In this aspect, he was already half a step ahead of Holden and did not panic. When the old fox asked for his next suggestion, Zach replied, It's simple. I'll bring a peace offering and pay a visit to the man family. At this time, Sam will definitely drink it. If he doesn't drink it, he won't be able to form an alliance with us. Anyway, we are already in an invincible position. The old fox laughed loudly. Ha! Little rascal! Isn't this method of yours too damaging? Zack thought about it seriously. Forget it. I'll just send a photo of Holden. Since we're forming an alliance, don't leave a knot. Just remind him to do it. Motai had plenty. It'll be the same in the future. Quincy was very happy. The more things Zack experienced the more mature he became. Indeed, this was an opportunity to force Sam to drink. It was not easy to see this. However, it was not difficult to see the hidden meaning behind the alliance between the two families after a cocktail party. Many people knew that young people should stop being arrogant and rash. However, it was not easy to do it. It was just like the things between men and women. They knew that they could endure it for a longer time at a critical moment. But many people could not wait to finish the battle in two minutes. Slowing down might be a faster speed of progress, because only by slowing down would they be able to avoid many detours and even dead ends. That's enough! I won't bother you about this matter anymore! You can do it yourself! After Quincy ended the call, Zack found a bottle of wine from the hotel wine rack and took a photo and sent it to Holden Man. Holden Man did not reply because the phone was still in Sam's hand. Seeing this photo, Sam sighed and returned the phone to Holden. Holden was able to snatch the position of leader from many people, so he naturally wasn't an idiot. He understood what Zack meant with a single glance. Especially after hearing Sam sigh, his understanding became even deeper. I'm sorry, Grandfather. I have disappointed you. In terms of safety, I am indeed not as good as Zack, but don't worry. I will use these two years to settle down. Hearing this, 
Sam revealed a smile on his face. Only by admitting your mistake can you correct your mistake. It was not scary to admit his mistake. What was scary was that even though he knew he had made a mistake, he still did not repent. He felt that he was quite wise when it came to choosing Holden to succeed his position. However, that little fox of the Marquez family, Zach, was not bad. He had already prepared to drink wine, but Zach had only sent him a photo. This Zach was a bit interesting. Luna had followed Zach for no reason the previous few days. She was indeed quite tired. Therefore, Zach did not go to other cities for the next three days. He did not do any work either. He only brought Luna around to travel, to see the scenery, to see famous attractions, and to see the prosperity of the city, and to watch the refreshing countryside. After sending Luna back, Zach stayed there for another two days. He was worried that the hidden force would cause a second attack. But in fact, two days had passed, and nothing had happened. During this period of time, all of the clans that were attacked had calmed down, and that mysterious force had also disappeared without a trace. Just like Zack, no matter how powerful he was, he couldn't let a dead man speak. If they found the key point, someone would die, and that would be the end of this matter. Therefore, until now, no one knew who the hidden force was, or what kind of force it was, and it had completely disappeared, as if it had never existed. But everyone knew that their appearance this time was only to announce their existence to the respective families. This was an attack, and even more so, a declaration of provocation. 108. The bad guy complained first. The mysterious force that was hidden in the dark had disappeared, just like the pirate ship in the fog. After firing the cannons, it disappeared without a trace. All the forces were ready. When they reached out their heads, they would hold them down and chop them off. But they didn't appear again. After waiting for a few days for them to show up again, Zack went back to his work. The first thing he did after returning to Honey Hospital was to prepare the database for removing the restriction. Now that Honey Hospital had reopened, most of the doctors and nurses who had been waiting for work had returned. Although there were not many patients, they still looked like a hospital. At least they did not need to climb the stairs to the director's office. Zach took the elevator to the 18th floor and was about to go to the information room when he met Thomas. Chairman, everything is going smoothly. I also have a preliminary plan for the business plan. Thomas wanted to report to Zack, but he was not in a hurry. Zack followed him to the office. Sitting in the office, Thomas gave a general introduction. I have already purchased the houses along the street across the hospital. I am preparing to expand the business circle with the hospital as the center. Also, I have decided to operate my own supermarket, the photocopy department, and others in the hospital. Although it's not a huge profit, the annual profit of these few parts is still very easy, even if it's used to give out employee benefits. Then I want to build an employee residential area around the hospital. There is a construction subcontractor under the Dream Group that can reduce the cost. Even if it is building and selling the employee housing, it will also give us a lot of profit. Furthermore, it is under the condition that the equality is guaranteed. Thomas had a lot of business plans. They were of different sizes and were categorized into different categories. However, in Zach's opinion, all of this was built on the foundation of the prosperity of the hospital. If there are not many patients in the hospital, then all the prosperity with the hospital as the center will be wasted, right? When Zach mentioned this point, Thomas nodded solemnly. Yes, Chairman. So we still need a good medical project. We need to use this project as a fist to make a name for ourselves. Just like how your wind chaser stirred up the market. When you think of the hydrogen energy, you will think of wind chaser. Our hospital wants everyone to talk about that project. And it will be the Honey Hospital. Also, while developing a public hospital... 
It will not only make money in the house. I have calculated that the annual income will easily reach tens of millions of dollars. Besides, there is also a preliminary school next to it, within two kilometers. There is also a large supermarket. This is the typical living circle. I even thought of purchasing the building subcontractor under our company and building my own house to sell. Thomas's plans were also very bright and ambitious. He had even done his research on every single one of them. He answered all of Zach's questions smoothly. Obviously, he had done his homework long ago. After Zach read Thomas's detailed plan, he also asked, You just said that you wanted to buy the building subcontractor. Why are you just thinking about it? I didn't see any plans regarding this in this plan. Thomas looked a little embarrassed. I think the stall is big enough and messy. I was worried that you wouldn't agree. Zach smiled and threw the proposal back onto the desk. I thought that you didn't have enough energy. Thomas shook his head vigorously. How could that be? The plans that have already been written won't take up too much of my energy. Zach replied, As long as you feel that this place is suitable for building a living circle after your inspection, then put your ideas into practical action. Don't think too much about it. You should take more action. If your operation here is successful, the company will even have one more real estate business. When that time comes, you will be in charge of two major industries, medical and real estate. That will be the style. Thomas was also very excited and moved. Chairman, thank you. Last year I... Seeing that Thomas was going to talk about last year, Zach waved his hand. He did not care about what happened last year and did not want to talk about it again. What happened in the past is in the past. Now, we are all one family. Let's work together. If Dream Group is good, we will be even better. Zach patted Thomas's shoulder and told him to do whatever he wanted. After that, he left Thomas's office. The old nurse in the information room did not know Zach. She did not even bother to raise her head. She just sat there and played with her phone. Bring the approval from the hospital director. She said it casually, just like when she was on duty downstairs that day. Zach asked her where the director's office was. At that time, she casually pointed at the elevator and let Zach see it himself. She only cared about playing with her phone. It was the same today. She didn't care who it was. She only cared about whether her phone looked good or not. So Zach curiously asked her, Do you like to play with your phone? The old nurse finally raised her head and looked at Zach. What does it have to do with you? If this was a man, he would have been slammed into the table by Zach's head. However, this was not a man, but an old woman. So Zach could not make a move. He lay on the information desk and looked at the old nurse through the window with a smile. It's none of my business, I'm just curious. Hey, what are you playing? You can play with your phone every day? Ah, that's great. I also want to find a job that I can get paid by playing on my phone. Get lost! I think you're here to cause trouble. If you don't leave now, do you think I won't look for security? Facing the old nurse's threat, Zach waved his hand with a smile. No need, no need, I won't trouble you to look for it. Zach took out his phone and called Fallon. Fallon, come over here. I need to ask you something in the information room. The old nurse frowned. She did not know what Zach meant and who he was calling. However, she guessed that it should be the security guard Fallon. He thought that there was someone in the hospital who was familiar with Fallon, so he had someone to back him up. The old nurse sneered. She had already thought it through. When Zach called Fallon over, she would also scold Fallon. The old nurse continued to play with her phone while Zach leisurely smoked in the lounge chair outside the information room. Not long after, the dean, Fallon, came over anxiously. Zach, what's the matter? I'm in a meeting. The old nurse was playing with her phone when she heard the familiar voice. She looked up and her heart skipped a beat. This Fallon was on a different level from the security guard Fallon she had imagined. This one was a high one. Therefore, she quickly said, Director Fallon, he just wanted to take the documents. I said we need a signature of the director. This is the rule of our hospital, but he didn't agree. 
and he was even getting impatient with me. I'm sorry. Zach, this girl is really good. She didn't use any of her 36 tricks. She used an evil trick to complain first. Amazing. Fallon, who was standing next to her, was a little embarrassed. He said in a low voice, Zach is also doing things impartially. Don't blame her. Don't blame her. Zach asked Fallon with a smile on his face. Then, what you mean is, this is my fault. Episode 409, You're the Boss. Fallon felt a little embarrassed when he heard what Zack said. That's not what I meant, I... Zack waved his hand. It's a shame that I was too careful just now and recorded the video. Otherwise, I would have complained all over. As he spoke, Zack took out his phone, ignoring the embarrassment on the old nurse's face. He showed Fallon the performance of the old nurse in full detail through the video. Director Fallon, listen to me, I didn't do it on purpose. The old nurse became anxious, and Fallon's expression became even uglier. He felt that he was really senile. The old nurse's one-sided words had misunderstood Zack. He was very embarrassed. Fallon was about to say something when Zack said, If I were an ordinary patient, would I have suffered a loss today? If I happened to be a reporter, would today's matter be written in a biased article to cover up the honey hospital? When Zack asked these questions, Fallon's old face turned red, and he didn't know what to say. Zack continued, The first time I came here, she was on duty downstairs. I asked her which floor the director's office is on, and she asked me to go to the elevator and see for myself. What is she doing? Just playing with her phone. I asked her to get the documents today, and she asked me to get you to sign the documents. There's no problem with that. I can do it. But what is she doing? She's still playing with her phone. Director Fallon, in your hospital, there's another position in your hospital that specializes in playing with your phone to fight against doctors? Fallon was directly called out. His expression was especially unpleasant. However, he knew that this matter could not be blamed on Zach. It was caused by his lax management. And this old nurse... It was not easy for him to do it, because there was a relationship between the two of them. At this moment, the old nurse said, Director Fallon, is this person following us? Why is he so disrespectful? He doesn't respect you at all. Seeing Fallon's awkward expression and listening to the old nurse's words, Zach could roughly guess that there might be a relationship between the two. So he asked, Who is she to you, an old lover? Fallon became anxious and quickly denied. No, no, she is, she is Greg's aunt. It's, it's not what you think. Zach suddenly realized. So that's how it is. I was wondering why she was so arrogant. Her eyes are on top of her head. He patted Fallon's shoulder and said, Sure, Fallon, you did a good job. I let you be the dean. You arranged for your relatives first. What a great job. You have a deep understanding of nepotism. Alan was so angry that he couldn't take it anymore. However, it was not for Zach. It was because of the old nurse, the biological aunt of his son-in-law. Previously, he had thought that it was an unimportant and an important position. As long as she was a little more serious, there wouldn't be any mistakes. However, Alan would never have thought that if there were no mistakes, he would directly scold the chairman. Furthermore, his attitude was quite unfriendly. At this time, Greg's aunt also discovered the problem and understood Zach's words. She heard that there was a big boss investing in it. However, she had always thought that that big boss was Thomas. After all, Thomas had always been in the hospital. Who would have thought that she would mistake him for someone else? Alan was questioned by her. What the hell? Zach? was the real boss of the hospital. Boss? I, I really didn't know you were the big boss. If I knew you were the big boss, then you would have welcomed me with a bright smile, wouldn't you? Zack asked, then continued to ask. If you are an ordinary patient, you can scold him. 
It doesn't matter at all, right? The old nurse squeaked when she was questioned, but she never could give an answer. Zack could not be bothered with her anymore. He turned to look at Fallon. If you can sit in the hospital's director's chair, if you can't, then sit up. I asked you to be the hospital director because I want your medical skills and your kindness. But I don't want you to deliberately let these people ruin the reputation of my hospital. You have no bottom line, so you shouldn't have let me pay for you. Zack entered the information room and kicked the old nurse to the side. He turned on the computer to check the information and found that the information room was a mess. The information displayed on the computer was quite neat, but the corresponding positions on the folder were messy and did not match at all. Zack waved at the old nurse. Come, find me some information about a liver transplant surgery. The old nurse jumped up and down for a while. In the end, she scratched her head awkwardly. I don't know where it is either. When I finish tidying up tomorrow, I'll send it to you. Zack sneered. After he left, he didn't even bother to look at Fallon. He just walked away. On the way out, he happened to meet Mahler, who was upstairs to deliver the information. Mahler greeted him warmly. Chairman, you are here? Zack forced a smile and nodded. He did not say anything and went to Thomas's office. Mahler was surprised. He did not know how to read people's hearts, but he did know how to read muscles. Through Zack's facial muscles, he could clearly tell that he was forcing a smile. It showed that he was in a bad mood. Therefore, Mahler could not understand why the chairman, who had always had a good temper, was angry today. As he was pondering, he heard a scolding voice from not far away. What exactly are you doing? If not for the sake of seeing George and Sandra, how could I let you work in the hospital? What about you? You only carry a crappy phone all day long. You're already more than 50. How can a phone be so, so attractive? Don't you have any self-control at all? Treating others with smiles is the principle of our hospital. I, Fallon, have been used to using my power for personal gain. Just because you are Greg's aunt, this position doesn't need any medical content. So I arranged for you to be assigned to it. And in the end, this, this right here, is how you repay me? Fallon gave a furious lecture and finally pointed to the staircase. You are fired! Hurry up and leave! I don't want to see you here again! The old nurse was still unwilling. I'm just playing with my phone. What's the big deal? Look at you! Get lost! Fallon immediately roared angrily. He even provoked the old nurse to slam the table at the same time. I'll go home now and tell our Greg to see how you will explain it to him. The old nurse was quite arrogant. She turned around and left. When she went out, she even deliberately bumped into Fallon, her face full of indignation. When she passed by Mahler, she looked at him angrily. What are you looking at? Mahler felt wrong. He did not do anything and was scolded for no reason. After the old nurse left, he went to Fallon's side and asked about the cause of the incident. He was a rich old man. After telling him what had happened, Mahler sighed. Teacher, you can't blame the chairman for this. He trusted you so much without saying anything. He even directly gives you and me the authority to manage it. In the end, you caused such a ruckus. He gave you a golden opportunity to do something good for the world. He spends millions to set up a hospital for people to get care they need so they can live long, healthy lives. Yet here you are, on your phone, being rude to everyone that isn't your boss. Have you no shame? 